right, we have some breaking news. Uh, we have one update, of course. The Boston police officer's been shot. He's been treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Sources tell uh, WBZ the suspect was found dead. These are live pictures of Mayor Walsh. Uh, Commissioner Gross is there. They're going to be holding a news conference right now to update us on the situation. Again, a police officer shot overnight. He is at a Boston hospital. There you see William Gross in the hat alongside Mayor Walsh. Let's listen in. Questions afterwards. No one else will be speaking. It's impossible. Folks, thank you for your patience as usual. Let me know when you're ready. Good to go. Good morning. I'm Commissioner William G. Gross. Here with me today is Mayor Walsh and members of the Boston Police Command staff. At approximately 2.21 a.m., officers from Area C6 conducted a motor vehicle stop at 102 Gerard Street. During that motor vehicle stop, a suspect exchanged several rounds of gunfire with the Boston police officers resulting in an officer being shot several times. That motor vehicle then uh, fled the scene and was subsequently located at 90 George Street. At 90 George uh, Street, we located the suspect inside of the motor vehicle. He's a male in his mid to late 30s, and unfortunately, he was pronounced um, deceased on scene. A firearm was recovered from that suspect motor vehicle. At present, it is an active investigation. I spoke with District Attorney Rachel Rollins and First Assistant um, District Attorney Dan Mulhern. They'll be conducting this investigation collaboratively, excuse me, conducting the investigation collaboratively with the Firearms Discharge Investigation Team. If anyone has any information, please contact us at 1-800-494-TIPS. We're actively canvassing the neighborhood for witnesses, video, and anything that can help in this investigation. The Boston police officer was transported to the Boston Medical Center, where he's listed with non-life-threatening injuries. We'd like to thank the doctors, the nurses, and EMS uh, for their quick response and um, in aiding our Boston police officers. Again, active scene looking for witnesses, canvassing, and please, folks, if you have anything to help facilitate the investigation, 1-800-494-TIPS. Can you tell us about the officer, how long he's been in the department? Yes, ma'am. He's been on, um, which we have two officers, and um, they've been on for about one or two years. The officer who was shot has been on for one or two years? Can't, can't hear you. The officer who was shot has been part of the department for one or two years? Yes. Officer. Yes. Can you talk about where can you talk about where the officer was shot? Part of the body? Upper torso. You said there were two officers, so there yes. two officers responded, and one officer was shot. Yes, sir. One officer was shot. This uh both locations are in Roxbury? Yes it is. Um, can you talk about say anything about why the circumstances of the stop? Uh, no, it's an active investigation. There was a motor vehicle stop. The, unit, the officers were in uniform. It was a marked Boston police vehicle. They were lawfully present. And again, during that, that motor vehicle stop, the suspect uh, fired upon the officers, and there was an exchange of gunshot fire, resulting in that officer being shot several times. Did the officers get out of the car and, and then the shooting happened? Were they in the car and the suspect just started firing the elaborate more? We're ascertaining that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, determining his identity right now. It's too soon in the investigation. Gonna, gonna have to speak up. Helicopters. No, when he was located, um, the officers located him in that motor vehicle. Subsequently, he was pronounced there. There wasn't a second exchange of gunfire uh, at the second location. Was anybody in the car with the suspect? Not at this time. What's the approximate distance between where the shooting took place and where the suspect's car was found? It's, it's, it's a short distance away. A couple blocks, a probably over a couple of blocks. Couple yeah. Did the uninjured officer transport the injured officer here to the hospital? No. Was it an ambulance? Of course. Okay, thank you, folks. Mayor, is there anything? I mean, just it's, it's an active investigation, and, and uh, as, as the day goes on, uh, more information will be released. Mayor, have you, have you 
you've been in contact with the, uh, I don't know if you want the officer's family or I think there's still a lot of notification going on, so I'll leave it at that to all the families involved. We'll have more information coming out from our office. Commissioner, what street did the initial stop happen on again? That was 102 Gerard Street. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. And you've been listening in there to Mayor Marty Walsh and Commissioner Gross giving an update on the situation overnight. This breaking news that we've been following, they've confirmed that uh, a marked police cruiser as well as two uniformed police officers made a vehicle stop, a motor vehicle stop. That's when the suspect opened fire. They exchanged gunfire multiple rounds. Commissioner Gross said the officer was shot in the upper torso is how he categorized that shot. Uh, and the suspect was found dead inside that same vehicle a couple blocks away. All right, uh, the suspect uh, described in his mid to late 30s, he was found dead on the second scene when they approached him in the car. Um, they are looking for help from the public, so they're asking for tips to help piece this all together. We, of course, will be following this throughout the morning, but right now we're going to take a quick break. More news after this.